Alright, so welcome back. In today's video, we are going to be doing we are going to be doing the costume name or there's a back um drop down numbers, so costume name or number, backdrop name or number, and then size. These are all in the looks section, and if you scroll all the way down, they're there. Um these are types of variables. Now, there's a difference between these variables, like, we'll just do that. High, like, these variables, like, this high variable I just made. And, like, these variables. There's also, um, these high variables, you customize. You make, you do whatever you want with them. These variables, you, there's, like, they're, like, preset. Scratch, already coded and made a di uh, um like they made a code inside these types of variables and it's y just your job to use them but for like example high variable you customize it if that makes sense last video we did operators equality so like these ones and we did it with these types of variables um, but for today, we are going to be using these operators with the costume, backdrop, and size. I'm going to start off with the backdrop. Um, so basically, anytime you use these two together, most likely, well, for me, I use an if. Like, most likely, I would use an if for this. So... So as you can see here, let me move those out of the way. We have when green flag clicked forever, so it's always checking. If blank, then. We're going to do backdrop. Oh, we're right here. If, I'm going to use the equals. So if the backdrop is something specific. Now, if you click on number or name, depending on what it shows, there's a drop down, name and number. Number means, and this applies for the costume one as well, name and number. For a costume or a backdrop, I'm going to show the backdrop because we're using it, but it's the same exact thing for the costume if you go and check. At the very top left of the backdrop or costume you're looking at, it has a number. That's a number. So if you have a really long name and you don't want to type all that, I'll show you how, like what I mean by that later. You can just put the number in. Like, this is one. And then I have this backdrop from, I forget which video. is either last video or two videos ago. So I already have this in. We have one, and then this one is two. So if I wanted this something to happen only when I'm on the basketball thing, basketball backdrop, the number, if you saw, it is two. So, if the backdrop number is 2. Now, if we just leave it like this, it's always going to be this backdrop. So, we want a way to change it. Maybe if we do, let's just do one green flag clicked. Make it. Then we'll make it the backdrop. The other one. So, the normal one. Let me get these out of the way as well. So when green flag clicked, it automatically here, automatically goes to this normal one. Well, now we need a way to change it. How about if we just have a mouse down anywhere? It changes. So to do that, we would do when green flag clicked. Uh, here, we can just also do it in this. When green flag clicked forever if and then we would go to sensing because right here it says if mouse down it has the mouse down boolean then we just do we want maybe we want it to switch every time so then next backdrop now it keeps switching now this um if is false 
Now it's true. So what 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 do we want to happen if it's true? Let's do the same old say hello. So right now it's saying hello because it's the same backdrop, but if we click, it stops saying hello. Because it it's not equal the backdrop number is not two. Now there's also the name. Here's what I mean by like you don't want to type the whole name in. But I I mostly do name because I don't know why. If we just name this like hi and we name this hello because very two different things. <laughs> um let me go back to code. If the backdrop name equals we still want it to be the basketball. And if you remember basketball. Hello. Now you want to make backdrop is on name because this is the name, not the number. The number is a number. Well, I guess the name could be a number, but the number assigned already to that backdrop, that's when you would use number. But if you want a custom name or something, you would use name. So, hello. And then if it's hello, say hello. <laughs> Coincidentally. So, Uh, so it, now it's not saying hello. Now it is saying hello. Now, since it's a little glitchy because I'm clicking, but I might be clicking for too long and then it's switching right back. So if you saw that, it said hello on the, well, it was on the white backdrop when it's supposed to do it on the um, basketball. That's normal because I'm I'm making it say hello for two seconds. So the hello just has to run out of time. So it's like saying hello. If it's saying hello for one second on the basketball, then it, and it's backdrop switches, it still has to finish saying hello for that other second because we told it to say hello for two seconds no matter what. To fix that, you would swap that with... Just normal say hello. So now if we switch it, let me hold on, let me do that. It's not saying hello. It's saying hello. I think it just goes forever. I don't know, but like I normally use this, but I know for this one it just has to run out. Yeah, like it just has to run out, look. So I normally use this, but you can always like change the time. So that's why I like that. Now, let me get that out on oh, here, actually. Let's keep it. Now, let's do the costume. The costume is literally the same exact thing, just with costumes. If you don't know what costumes are, you go click on a sprite, go to costumes. Some uh, sprites have automatically made costumes. So, like, this one came with two costumes this one is him walking this one is him running i guess so as you can see same thing like the backdrop at the top left it has a number so it's literally the same thing if costume number we'll do is two say hello for the one second now instead of switching the backdrop we want to since we're doing costumes now we want to switch the costume. So if the second costume triggers, let start it off on the first costume. And then if mouse down, go to the next. So click. It says hello, but then it runs out. Like I said, it's glitchy because I might be clicking for too long or something. So but then it like runs out. Now it's saying forever because it's that. But once we click, it runs out. Um, it's the same exact thing as the backdrop, like I said. Costume name. I'm gonna keep it as costume one, costume two. It's costume two because that's the costume name assigned. Say hello for one second. And then 
it's switching. So it's the same exact thing like we just had. Now you want to make sure the back, the drop box is checked for what you're doing. Like this wouldn't work because there's no number with words in it. There's only a number with a number and that number is assigned. A custom name would work for this because it's a name that we assigned it. Custom 2. So you want to make sure you're doing the right thing. Basically, I forgot to go over these as well, but like there's really no point because it's the same exact thing. If costume name, now name wouldn't work with these because equals, it's like checking, okay, this is the same as this. Got it. You can't tell if word is less than, is like less than or greater than because you know what I mean? Because it has letters. So. Um, hold up. I think there's actually a way to actually tell. Yeah, there is. If you do length of, but I'll, I'll cover that later. But pretty much default like this, there's not. So you would normally use those only for equals. If you do name number though, costume number, backdrop number, those would work for these because they are numbers and they can be told less than, greater than, and equals to. So it's the same exact thing, just if they're less than and greater than, except for equals to. Size. Size is actually completely, not completely, but it is very much different. I'm going to get rid of this. If you don't know, size can be set. If you look at the bottom right of the screen, there's this big chunk with you can change the sprite name here. You can change the X, the Y, show, or you can hide it. You can change the direction and you can change the size. So for the size, you can change it here. Or if you go into looks, you can change it with these two blocks. Change size by making it increase or decrease if you add a negative or set size two so it's automatically setting these two blocks are kind of like let me show you let me make a variable real quick so i can show you these two are kind of like these two set skips directly over change adds or decreases depending on the number you put Negative makes it decrease. Positive numbers make it increase. So let me delete the variable now. So if size equals, we'll do 110. If size equals 110, say hello. Now we want size to change. So let's do this. On green flag clicked. Set size to 100%. Let's do the same thing we did with the backdrop and costume. Forever, so it always checks. If mouse down, change size by 10. Now in this situation, we want it to come like, I, I guess, never mind. But like, it can if it goes over, then it will stop because it's equals. So look, hello? Now it doesn't because I clicked it for too long and now it's 130. Now if I keep clicking, it doesn't work. And he gets in the, oh, he gets big. Okay, I, I guess that's the max. But if I click the green flag, he shrinks because that's what I set. I set him to go back to 100%. Click. Ah, uh, I clicked too much. Um, out here, I have an idea. If we add a weight, that has to wait. Now, if we click, we got it. Now, he says hello forever, because he's on 110. But if we go up, he stops. Now, equalities, all equalities work for size. So, if we do, if size is greater than 110,
let me stop it so it doesn't run. If size is greater than 110, then do that. So now it's not going to do that because it's equal to 110. But if we click one more, now it says it. And it says it forever and ever. It takes a slow time to go because if you remember, I added the weight. Now it says it forever as long as it's over 110. It's the same thing for this. If size is less than, we'll do less than 110. And it says hello. It's at 100 right now, so it's saying hello. Click it once, though. It stops forever because I can't make it go back down unless I hit the green flag. And it's never going to go back down to less than 110. So that's basically the size, costume, and backdrop variables. The not actual variables, like I said, the preset. Um, and that's that with equalities. If you have any other questions or uh, any other ideas or tutorials you want me to do, put it in the comments. Hopefully, most likely, the comments will work. Sometimes they don't, but hopefully they will this time. And I hope that was useful. Bye.